Hi, this is Pratik Bhajanka, APJ Field CISO at Sentinel One and a former Gartner analyst or covering the markets of endpoint security, cloud security, extended detection response, vulnerability management, and the entire gamut of cybersecurity. If you look at it, we are living in a digital era. In a digital era, this has certainly fueled the speed of doing business in the market. But at the same time, if you look at it, this has also increased the risk profile and exposure of an organization. Because now we are opening up the businesses with partners, we are opening up the business with customers, and it is becoming boundaryless at the same time. And that is the reason why cybersecurity has now become a necessity for a digital business. It is no longer a choice, it is no longer an option for a digital business or for a business for that matter. Uh, in order to thrive, they need cyber security. At the same time, when you are doing businesses at, businesses at scale, you need security to enable scalable digital business because we are no longer dealing with 20 transactions a day, we are no longer dealing with 100 transactions, we are dealing with millions of transactions per day and you need cyber security to be built in by design in your digital businesses in order to scale the business. At the same time, if you look at the threat actors, they are getting smarter, they are evolving and becoming a lot more sophisticated. And it is no longer the case that there is a hacker who is sitting out of their basement and launching attacks. It has become an organized crime now. There are brokers who help the attackers with the required tools and technologies, with the required intel to launch attacks on organization. And because of this, the entry barriers have been significantly lowered than what we saw three to four years ago. And if past is any evidence, if you look at the start of the pandemic in March 2020, the number of these cyber attacks have only increased further because of the reason it has become a lot more organized and the entry barriers have lowered. And just how we adopted software as a service in our organizations to fuel the digital business, organized crime and threat actors also adopted RAS, which is called ransomware as a service. So now you no longer have to be an expert in, in developing exploits, in developing toolkits to launch attacks. You can subscribe to the service and you can work on profit sharing model to launch attacks across the organization, no matter what the size, industry and location of an organization. And that is the reason it has become an imperative to have cyber security by design in any business, no matter what size, location and type of an organization you are. Cyber attacks or ransomware were traditionally seen as a technology risk or an IT risk, but it is no longer the case. Ransomware has now become a business risk. Now, if you look at the recent attacks, because of the ransomware attack on organizations, a lot of critical services were inaccessible for a longer period. If, if you look at the recent example, a large scale ransomware attack on a healthcare organization, it resulted in a lot of chaos on street and in the hospital because of the inability to book prior appointments. The patients used to rush to the hospital uh, at any given point of time and there was a lot of chaos in, on, in the hospital which resulted in a lot of panic. And ransomware is no longer just resulting in business losses, but it is also resulting in loss of life. We have seen a lot of news coming from across the globe where because of the ransomware attack, the surgery could not be performed on time and there were losses, a loss of life at the same time. So talking about Sentinel-1, uh, Sentinel-1 has a pedigree of autonomous security from the starting, from the very beginning. And we also have a pedigree of transparent and seamless security. And this is the same, these are the same principles that we have applied in cloud security as well. So just to give you a very common example, as an individual, I would not want to take a vaccination which will cause me harm or which may kill me eventually. 
I would want a vaccination that can help me in increasing the longevity of my life. Same, the same concept works for cloud security. In cloud security, the organizations were not implementing cyber security on their cloud assets for the reason that it was causing stability issues and the way the cyber security solutions would hook to the kernel and would hook to the operating system, it used to cause kernel panics. And because of this reason, organizations were always very reluctant to implementing cloud security. But Sentinel-1 cloud security is built for cloud. And if I talk about a little bit of technical detail, Sentinel-1 agent uses eBPF mode or eBPF capabilities so that it does not hook directly to the kernel of the cloud or the operating system and it works in user mode so that it does not cause any kind of instability issues or it does not cause any kind of kernel panics and because of these uh, built for cloud capabilities you can reach massive scalability without having to worry about what cloud security technology would, would, would work on what cloud environment you can reach massive scalability and with the feature parity that we are able to offer you no longer have to worry about or you can look at having consistent security capabilities across the technology stack irrespective of the asset type whether it is cloud endpoint or xyz at the same time sentinel one xdr does not just help with cloud security it helps you with the bigger picture too as if you look at the threat actors they are no longer attacking just one single vector they are launching attacks across multi vectors and it's very important that we understand the entire journey and we are able to trace the actor right from the infection point until the delivery of the payload which may be ransomware so with the inclusion and integration or the native in integration of sentinel one cloud security as a part of sentinel one xdr platform you would be able to create a storyline or you would be able to track the entire attacker journey right from infection to the last point and hence you would be able to do a much better job at detecting those attacks and you will be able to identify the root cause and the changes the attacker made and with the with the use of the automation you would be able to roll back and eliminate all the changes that the attacker has made I may sound, sound like a broken record when I say this, cyber security is no longer optional, cyber security is no longer a choice, but it is an essential component of any business or any digital business. It is no longer just for large organizations and large enterprises. It is very important for no matter how small of a business you are, or even if you're not a, not a profit making business, if, even if you are the ones who are delivering critical services and delivering uh, uh, government services to uh, to the citizens of the country it is very important that you implement cyber security at the same time it helps you in scaling the business it helps you in making sure that the way you are running the business it is being run in a smooth and non disruptive manner and it also helps you in remaining compliant with the number of regulations and standards and compliances coming in the industry it is very important that we remain compliant in order to be in business which it it also helps us in reducing the fines and minimizing the fines because resulting because of any kind of non compliance which results in minimizing the business losses one aspect which we should also look into that having cyber security and good cyber security practices will also give you a very good competitive edge in the market which helps you in further fueling the mission of the business and cyber security also helps you in improved and better customer experience which only results in better business outcomes uh, one of the challenges that we have seen in the cyber security industry is that the cyber security technologies are not easily accessible by the smaller organizations and businesses who may not be ready to buy an enterprise solution and i'm glad to see that tech jockey is acting as a catalyst and has been able to democratize these cybersecurity solutions in the market and they are able to reach 
each and every section of the market no matter how small or big they are this level of pervasive security will help us in increasing the overall security posture and make this world a cyber safe space to live in